Hi everyone, Eric Beard here. Just wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about foot care. Now that everyone's staying home so much of late, I think people are walking around barefoot a lot more often, which sounds like a great idea, but when you're on grass and sand, that's marvelous. But when you're at home in hardware, or linoleum floors or whatever else you got at home, it can beat the feet up a little bit. So I'm all for people getting away from the fancy heels at work. And I know some of you are wearing more heels at home and those of you who do that, you know who you are. And I know that you know that I know that you know that you're doing that. But for most of us, we're a little bit more barefoot around the house and we gotta care for the feet. So it's a good time now as we step back to get a little bit more self-care. So let's talk about some of the tools and techniques that we can use to do so. So let's go ahead and look here at my bag of tricks. So we've got uh, soft balls. We probably don't know those. Need those. A spiky ball, a cross ball, a pinky ball. We like those. Uh, we don't need that guy. This is a, ooh, that's a knee hockey ball for my kids. This is invaluable right here. This guy, that from Trigger Point. Ooh, uh, a baseball. Well, let's leave the baseball to the side. Another Trigger Point ball. Oh, right here. This is my daughter's. This is my daughter's ball back when she played a little bit of t-ball. So it looks like a baseball, but it's actually softer. But that that could be handy dandy. We've got a golf ball. Uh, another ball here, and then uh, nothing else in the bag of goodies. But. I want to talk a little bit about some of the tools that we're going to use. They are different diameter, i.e. different sizes and then different densities, basically how hard they are. I know a lot of people talk about golf balls and lacrosse balls. And now those can be helpful, but they can be a little aggressive on the bottom of the feet, especially if you're in pain. I also want you to just take a peek at the diameter here. So if you look at the arch of my foot down here by the mat, I've got probably an average arch height. And if I'm using something like a golf ball, under my foot, it might press up into the bone a little bit. If you notice here, uh, my forefoot is not able to go ahead and get on the ground with a golf ball, with a, a uh, golf ball there, unless I'm further back. And if I'm using a lacrosse ball, it's tougher for me to go ahead and do so. So if you're in a seated position and using relatively light pressure and quick motions, then a lacrosse ball or golf ball might be the way to go, but what I would like to invite you to do is to raid your kids' toys or supplies or remember the supermarkets, they had a little super ball machine, you put a quarter and you get some of the bouncy balls, so maybe you don't do that these days, but there are places online, Soma System has a really nice array of therapy balls that you can use, different diameters um, that are fantastic for the bottom of the foot. So if we take a picture here, a peak, this is a little smaller than the golf ball, and this is much smaller, but why I like to use this is you can get in between some of these little spaces and nooks and crannies. So we have that medial arch here, we have along the outside, this strip here between that fourth and fifth metatarsal, we have right along the edge of the forefoot, we have in and along the heel where the heel tends to get a little gnarly, but also don't be afraid to give a little love here in between the toes. And if we use one of these smaller diameter balls, you can actually get in there while you're seated, or I'm gonna stand up here, but we'll stay looking down at the foot. But you can actually keep multiple points of contact along the foot and then stop and hold some pressure on that ball. So you've got to stop and hold, stop and hold, or you can get a little bit of rolling or rocking back and forth. So if it's lighter, quicker pressure, that's fine, just to waken up the receptors in the bottom of the foot. If we're looking to get a change in, the, in that dense fascia or some tight muscles, then stopping and holding and taking some breaths here or adding some movement of the extensors or other parts of the feet might actually help you out. So we'll call this kind of the first little introduction here to foot care uh, or self-care for the foot. And what I wanna do is just highlight the importance of different diameter in different density toys, so we're not just grinding away with the stuff that's really hard. But we'll leave that where it is for today. Take care of the feet. Uh, hopefully they're good to you and you're good to them. But use different diameter, different density, will allow you to get into some of those nooks and crannies. I'm Eric Beard, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.